Kenneth Lonergan, man. I know. It's all just summed up in one word. He's a genius. There's no one like him. You wouldn't mistake one of his movies or one of his plays for anyone else's. They're completely distinctive, but at yeah. the same time, incredibly natural. They're so real that you... It's life. I know. And then somehow at the end, it transcends itself. And you're like... And there's the only explanation is genius. The clip that I'll show is, of course, the scene that you have with Casey Affleck, because what? That's the scene, right? I mean, out of a, an entire movie of genius, that's the scene that I keep coming back to. Before that scene, how does he talk to you? How does he get, how does, how does he get you into that scene? Like nuts and bolts. There was a lot of anticipation around that day, especially for me because I wasn't really, those guys were like on the loop. You know, they'd been filming for a long time and they were sort of jogging it out and I had to kind of cold start on that. Um, and I really felt like the weight of the world on my shoulders that day. Like I knew that there was, there's a lot to live up to. There's a lot to rise up to. And I just remember, um, I remember everything about the day. I remember like waking up on that day and thinking like, here it is. Like, here we go. I remember getting ready, putting on my, in this tiny little trailer, you know, it's such a small movie. You get this thing called a honey wagon and it's basically like a little jail so it's about as wide as the chair that I'm sitting in now yeah. and I remember putting on my makeup and putting on my clothes and just knowing like there's a ticking clock and they're gonna call me and I'm gonna go up there and then there's gonna be this thing that I've been waiting to do for months and months and months that I've prepared for that I've thought about um, and walking up there you know Kenny's a big open heart and he really he didn't say anything he didn't ask for anything he didn't he, we really he just like sort of took a deep breath and said like it's time to it's time to go now like let's go i don't have anything big to say it's okay just i know you've been around and i well, just i thought just been getting patrick settled in it seems like he's doing pretty good huh considering i think he is yeah I guess you don't know this, but I, uh, I really kept in touch with Joe. No, it's been kind of weird for me not seeing Patrick. Oh, oh okay, I, I didn't know. Uh, if you could see him if you want. Could I... we ever have lunch? You mean us, you and me? Yeah. His filmography as a director is relatively small, but it's so big. And I read that you guys are pretty close at this point. And before you're going into a scene, can you just take me into how he talks to you? It's quiet, like, that's how he does it. And and uh, it starts way before um, we ever arrive on set. You know, we had a long rehearsal period, and before that there were months of just phone calls and just talking about this, the part and the script. Um, and he's really open to what an actor is gonna do. What, what are they gonna bring? And, um, you know, it's never dogmatic direction. It's never, like, um, you know, and it's also never manipulative. It's a, it's a really, like, um, uh, equal feeling conversation about sort of uh, what these people, how, why they're behaving the way that they do. And I would hear him talking to people who had just one line in the movie, and it would be a long conversation about what they did that day and where they're coming from and what they want out of this moment. So he treats all of the characters um, with dignity, and that's why they all feel so three-dimensional and interesting and real.